lightweight contest over six rounds between Charles Yao Tete of the Panix Boxing Gym and Solomon Nete of the Wisdom Boxing Gym. Officials for these bouts, Judge 1, we have Shadrach Akwe, Judge 2, we have David Mills, and Judge 3, we have Nat Obain. And the man in charge of this fight is Richard Amibi. So we are waiting for the boxers, Solomon Nate. Very well, we are set for the penultimate fight of the evening, and this is a lightweight contest over six rounds. The IMAX Promotions Syndicate and the Ghana Boxing Authority would want to use this platform to wage Muslims across the globe. Ramadan Mubarak, Muslims are starting their fasting today in Ghana. Some started yesterday. Ghana Boxing Authority and the IMAX Boxing Promotion Syndicate wish Muslims the best of all. Now, this is one of the main events of the evening. And this is a lightweight contest over six rounds. Now, officials for this bout, Shadrach Akwe is judge one. David Mills is judge two. Nat Obain is judge three. Now, introducing the boxer, fighting out from the blue corner. This is a boxer with a weight of 135 pounds. And this is the boxer who is making his very first appearance on professional platform from the Wisdom Boxing Gym under the tutelage of the trainer, the manager of Black Bambis of Ghana, Dr. Ofori Asari, presenting to you the boxer, Solomon Nete! Switching over to the red corner, another interesting boxer from the Panix Boxing Gym under the tutelage of Mr. Emmanuel Yaboa. Coach Yee, and this is the boy with a weight of 134 pounds, is also making his debut tonight, presenting to you the boxer, Chas Yatete. And the referee in charge of this fight is Richard Amibi.
All right, viewers, we'll continue with the action here from the Bukum Boxing Arena. It's time to take a look at some lightweight contenders. And this bout is scheduled for six rounds. We've got Charles Yautete representing the Panics Boxing Gym. And from the uh, West referee, West team, come referee, come hold on, hold on. Nete. Uh, Shiba, Shiba, I mean, many metal wall and no one can fight. I can wall it, but why? It won't find an issue. One can fight. Okay, referee. Referee, let's go. Center referee Richard Amevi. Round one. us into round one of this bout. Charles Yautete, this is the first time of asking, making his professional debut. And they're uh, coming up against Solomon Nete, who's tried and trusted. Solomon Nete in the black trunks. And uh, Yao Tete. Oh, he's opening up quite well his account working on the body of Solomon Nete. Nete comes in with some form of response a jab to the body of Nete and Nete would want to respond Yao Tete putting the pressure on uh, Nete and for a boxer who's making his debut he looks quite confident Charles Yao Tete or Charles Yao Tete I should say in the flamboyant colors first time of asking in the professional ranks and quickly putting the pressure on Solomon Nete much to the admiration of the fans Richard and Mevi center referee keeping close watch as Solomon tries to gather momentum through the jabs. And for Yao Tete opening up uh, his ranks trying to catch uh, Nete on the break. One to the body, another to the head of Solomon Nete. And notice Nete is looking for the clinch. Now Tete will not have anything to do with the clinch. Still opening up, tries to release himself. Nete is under some amount of pressure and Richard Amevi gives him a first warning. Opening up once again. It's not giving Solomon a breathing space at all. Uh, wisdom Nete, I should say. Solomon Nete not giving or not being given breathing space. Solomon Nete representing the wisdom boxing gym. That's the gym of the uh, head coach of the Black Bombers, Dr. Sari. First round ends in the next couple of seconds and I should say that Charles Yao Teke has given a good account of himself in this debut bout. Yeah, exciting bout. Pretty much exciting. I mean, just look at Charles Yao Teke. You love the combinations, his movement, his power. I only really hope he keeps up the momentum and the energy. But for Solomon Nete, he seems to have the longer reach and a very good on the counter. So we want to see a lot more of that. But such a very wonderful bat, amazing bat. This is what we want to see. You know, just look at the combination from both boxers. He has been excellent. Power punches, hooks here and there. But of course, it has been Charles Yautete who has stole the show in the first round. Excellent job, excellent combination. But let's look at the counter punches. Second out. Solomon Nate is the better Second of the out. counter punches. Round two. Into round two we go. In the last but one bout for fight night three of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. And it's Charles Yao Tete in the flamboyant colors. He came into the ring at a weight of 134 pounds. 
one pound lighter than his opponent Solomon Nete from the Wisdom Boxing Gym. And uh, just as he ended the first round, Charles Nete opens up again. Oh, he's scoring the points from those jabs. Nete has no response to that. He explodes once again and Nete would have to resort to the clinching to prevent further trouble. Well, he opens up once again and uh, straight away Nete is playing the technical game here, avoiding trouble but gets one to the face of uh, Tete. Tete closing in steadily. Tries to land a flurry of punches and again. Nete goes in for the clinch. face of uh, Nete and another one and another one fans are reacting positively to what they're seeing and for Nete strategy of staying back is not working Charles Tete is on him through and through sorted out but Solomon Nete would have to probably rethink a strategy Charles Yautete is not giving him any breathing space at all and it's the way of manner he combines the jab and the power punches together <laughs> it's pretty much confusing very very difficult Loving Charles Yautete for a couple of reasons. The first is that he's got flamboyant colors. He also has a strong following here and they keep urging him on. He opens up once again. Very daring as he comes forward. avoid the uh, clinch and goes to work on the body of Solomon Nete. Solomon is still struggling. There goes for the end of the round. The support clearly, clearly is for Charles. Yeah, it's hitting up pretty much explosive right here at the Bukum Boxing Arena. But of course, Charles Yautete is showing how brilliant and how good he is with power. I mean, just look at Solomon Nete. He has a longer reach. He's always trying to go in with a jab, trying to make sure, you know, Charles does not come closer. But just look at the movement and the power of Charles Tete. Not giving him any breathing space. And he's landing those power punches accurately very well on the face. And for me, he has won the first two rounds without a doubt. Amazing performance. Just look at the job and the power in those punches. Second out. Second out. Round three. Round three we go to. It's about scheduled for six. Lightweight contest between Panics Boxing Gym. And they are represented by Charles Yao Tete and Wisdom Boxing Gym, ably represented by Solomon Nete. Charles lands a big one and Solomon goes down. 
Woo! Solomon Nete would love to continue the bout and quickly Charles Tete is on him working on the body Charles is throwing some hefty punches there Solomon has to defend himself again avoids the uh, clinch and deals another one to the head of Solomon this time the clinch is effective fans are loving it it has been intense right from round one Prospects for the lightweight division, that's for sure. Solomon receiving some uh, punishment from uh, Charles. Had managed to uh, get away with the uh, clinch. Now let's see, strategy will change once again. Charles Yao Tete comes forward. Solomon tries the clinch and then he throws a couple of punches back. Charles takes him to the ropes. The explosive nature of Charles does not give Solomon a lot of uh, time to rethink and plan. Fans have been enjoying the action right from the first bout of the night. And they would have to work on uh, the laces of the boots once again. So that's the face of uh, Solomon Nettie. Body has received a lot of uh, punishment from his opponent. And the cornerman of uh, Nettie will still offer more instructions as they tell him what to do. Again, the explosive nature of uh, Charles Tete. Really, and the pressure he's putting on his opponent as he starts yet again. Closing in on him and looking for the big punch of the day. Again, works on the body of Solomon Nete. He gets out of trouble. And as much as possible, Charles likes to get away from the uh, clinch. It gives his opponent some respite in terms of a rest. Both go toe to toe again. Solomon does well to throw a couple of punches. Difficult to penetrate through Charles' uh, guard. Charles asking for more. Solomon Nete at the receiving end. It's been explosive. Right on. Round one. Big straight right hand from Charles Altete, which landed straight into the face of Solomon Nete. Then he landed on the canvas. I mean, it has been explosive, very energetic round. Another oh, yeah. brilliant round from Charles yeah. Altete. I mean, it's yeah. everywhere, everywhere. Oh, just look yeah. at those power punches. Look at, we'll look at that big right hand straight into the face of uh, Solomon Nete. Very soon, but just look at that. the condition. Look at the movement. And the two boxes, trading punches. I mean, no man. Charles, yeah, Tete. Take it down. Very strong. Take it out. Round four. So on we go here. It has been a very interesting evening. Fight night three of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. 
once again, the boxers will go have a go at it. It's the fourth round. About to schedule for six. That's a heavy one there from uh, Solomon Neto. And then goes in for the clinch. And then he sends an uh, uppercut through after the referee had separated them. Solomon Nete is trying so very hard to keep Charles at bay. The explosive nature of um, Charles Yao Tete reminds one of the uh, tactics of uh, Isaac Dogbe. He opens up pretty fast, very explosive, scores the punches, and then takes a break. re strategizes again, and then comes forward. Some in-house boxing now. Charles gets out, gets a couple of punches in the head of uh, Solomon Netty, still having a go at it. And Solomon Nete still on his feet, took a slip there, nearly went down. Big one to the head of uh, Solomon Nete. In firm control of this bout, Charles Tete. Tries to open up once again and then... Solomon Nete, he's been very technical. Clinching is very legal in boxing, and he's using it to his advantage. Throws the punches again and then goes in for the grab. Charles is not too keen. Sends one to the head of uh, Nete. Gives uh, Solomon Nete a little bit of a uh, respite. Referee Amevi says he's okay. Last 10 seconds. And for Charles Yautete, he has been pretty solid performance. He's won all, all the runs. I mean, there's no doubt about that. All Solomon Nete can do is to clinch. Anytime he goes on the attack, anytime he starts to throw the power punch. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in a haste to end this bout. I mean, Charles uh, Yao Tete. And so he's also missing. He's not been punching very accurately in the fourth round. He should take his time. His movement has been pretty good. He has the power punch. All that he needs to do is to win for Solomon Nete to come inside and then he will just, you know, land that power right hand. So far, it's been pretty good for Charles Yao Tete. Take it out. Yeah. Now we're going Take to the last out. round five. All right, I beg your pardon. That's round five. It's been quite explosive. It's been quite action-packed. Round five. One to the body of uh, Nete, another one to the head. 
and so clearly Charles is uh, gunning up uh, the points. Oh, that lands one connects to the head of Nete. Nete responds with a quick jab, tries to work on the body. But again, Charles looking for that explosion and he goes once again. Trying to work on the body. Nete.